Good morning! Today we will have a look at this free anamorphic cinema lens kit that I made for Unreal Engine if you want to add a more authentic feel to your cinematic renders. So let's have a look! So first things first, head over to the Gumroad page where you can read up on the documentation and see a complete list of all of the cinema lenses and cinema series that is included in this pack and then simply uh, type in your desired amount here and then download. You need to type in your email for a receipt and also to get important updates when I uh, update the pack in the future with more lenses. And you will get a download link here and you will also see which uh, version of Unreal it was made for. So this first version was made for Unreal Engine 5.2. Then simply save it to your downloads or whatever. You will get a zip file, and this zip file you will need to extract. Right click and extract folder. And in this you will have a lenses folder. This lens folder you can copy or cut into your content folder of your project. And in this folder you will see what lenses is included in this first version. So first we only have uh, a set of five series of lenses. But I will of course update it very soon. So just copy or cut this into your content folder of your project and you should see that it automatically appears and if it doesn't then you need to restart the engine because it probably couldn't find the correct file path. So this is a very basic scene I've set up of a Volvo S90 uh, car which I downloaded for free on Sketchfab. Uh, a big shout out to LaserCar for this incredibly awesome model. And then the background consists of the automatic bridge scene from uh, Epic Games, which uh, you can also find in the description below. Um, you need to enable one plugin for this to work. So bring up the plugins panel and search for camera calibration. And then restart the engine. You will need this add-on for this to work. Well, uh, not exactly to work, but you need it to calibrate the lenses even further if you want. So first set up your basic camera film back settings. I designed this pack with the Arri Alexa 35 in mind, so I looked up the sensor size and then used these numbers to uh, emulate the Arri Alexa 35 sensor uh, film back. Type in the values of the film back that you want to use here or you can use one of the presets, doesn't really matter. It's important that you type in a squeeze factor of 2 because this will be anamorphic and then choose your blade count here. As you can see with the standard cinema lens in Unreal, this has a very linear curvature to the image which looks uh, incredibly unrealistic because this is perfect and you don't want perfect lenses because perfect in CGI equals unrealistic. So we want to add a digital lens to this camera. And the way you do this is by heading over to the add button over here and then search for lens. This will add a lens component to your cinema camera. In this lens you will find a few settings. So here you can see lens file. And this is where we will select the lens that we want to use. So for example, let's start out with uh, one of my favorite lenses, the uh, Panavision C-series. And here you can find some very beautiful lenses in here. And let's select the 35mm for example, and then use selected asset from content browser. You need to change the evaluation mode to use camera settings. And then apply distortion. And now you can see that the lens has a very realistic anamorphic bending to the optics. And we can try a few different lenses here with different focal length. These are emulating real rendered anamorphic lenses. And I will show you at the end how these are made. These are using real distortion grids from these lenses. So you can get a more cohesive look for your film. So let's say that you only want to use the Hawk V-Lite lenses for your film project. Then you will get a very realistic look by using a, uh, the set rules uh, as if you were using these lenses in real life, for example. 
So we can try out a few different lenses from the set and you can see the beautiful curvature here. And let's have a look at the Hawk V-Light lenses. These have a more distorted image than the uh, Panavision lenses. And then we have the uh, Atlas Orions, which are also very beautiful in real life. And these have a more subtle uh, distortion. And then of course we have the Master Anamorphic lenses from Ari Zeiss, which are very subtle in their distortions. And then I also included a generic pack which aren't uh, simulating a real lens. These are random numbers. Uh, if you just want like something quick and don't want to emulate something specific, but you still want uh, some lens distortion. But yeah, the Panavisions are my favorites because they are really beautiful. If you do need to change the settings of these lenses, which I don't recommend doing, but you can, you do that by uh, double-clicking one of the lenses and the lens uh, calibration window will pop up. Here you can find the focal length and distortion uh, menus, which are the ones I've modified. You can then box select this little point here. And by using the middle mouse button by holding it down, you can move this up and down and, uh, and in that way change the value if you want to change like the focal length. Let's say you li really like this distortion grid but you want to change the focal length. You can then change the focal length of this lens. The way these lens profiles are actually made is that they're first uh, shot uh, using rented lenses of the real life versions on an Ari Mini. Uh, these images were then imported into Nuke, where they were converted into ST maps, and then also converted into lens grids. And these lens grids I then imported into Unreal Engine as images, where I overlaid them on top of a digital lens grid, uh, and then distorted the image according to both lens grids, so they matched up. And then I saved these lens grids as lens profiles. Once again, the uh, full list of lenses I have is very comprehensive and it will probably take me a while to convert all these lenses into lens profiles. So please let me know if you want me to uh, prioritize one of the uh, series. Uh, in each series there is uh, lenses of different focal length or otherwise I will just go in chronological order probably. So by using these lens profiles you can more shoot your digital film uh, like a real DP would do by using a few set focal length and a few set looks by using a specific anamorphic lens series. I myself is working on a feature film at the moment and we will probably use the Panavision C series for our film. A few important notes is that you won't get the real life chromatic aberration and the color reproduction of these lenses. You also get a specific lens flare from each lens, so make sure that you have a look at these lens flares in real life and look how they behave so you can emulate it in Unreal Engine. I will also have a tutorial on this topic uh, out shortly. With all that said, let me know if I skipped an important part or something and make sure that you keep an eye out for the version 2 of the kits, which will include more lenses. So thanks once again and goodbye!